Hey everybody, it's Taco Cal, and welcome back to Dying the Dead. Today we're going to be doing the cartilage stain. So we're going to be dyeing the cartilage inside of our specimens a really pretty blue color. This is going to take about a day because our specimens are small. If you have any larger type of specimens, it can take more than one day to fully dye and penetrate all of the muscles to get to the cartilage. First, we're going to go over what we need for today. You are first going to want to put on something old, something that you don't really care if you get any stains on. This is an old Earth Day shirt um, that I made like way a whole bunch of years back when I first started college. Next, you're going to need your specimens. You will need a clean jar to make your cartilage stain solution. I will be putting both of my specimens into one jar. You will need gloves, possibly your dissection kit, a graduated cylinder, your scale, your glacial acetic acid, your 95% ethanol, goggles, and most importantly, you're gonna need your Alcyon Blue powder. You will also need a little piece of like wax paper or something so when you measure out your Alcyon Blue, it doesn't get all over your scale and make it messy. So yeah. All right, so let's get started. We are gonna start out by measuring 10 milligrams of our Alcyon Blue powder using our cute little scale. powder measured out, I'm just going to be putting that into our empty jar. I'm going to be using about 20 milligrams of the Alcyon Blue Powder. I know it said to use about 10, but you want to get the um, the solution pretty a, a pretty nice blue color. So um, using a little more than 10 milligrams I'm sure is okay. Alright, so here's our empty jar. I'm just going to be adding the Alcyon Blue Powder. Here we are. want to make sure you shake that off really well. Next, we're going to be taking 60 milliliters of our 95% ethanol and pouring that into our jar with our Alcyon Blue. ethanol and I mixed it a little we have this really cute blue color in our we have this really cute blue color in our solution right now next we are going to be adding 40 milliliters of our glacial acetic acid <laughs> acetic acid, our solution looks really cool. I'd say that this is a pretty nice blue color. This is definitely the color that we want. Now that we have our 
Alcyon Blue solution for our cartilage stain, we're going to be adding our mice. I will be showing you guys what the mice look like in the stages that I have them in right now. You're going to be needing your tweezers from your surgical or your anatomy kit in order to fish or get your mice out of the water solution. solution. We are going to leave them there for about a day or so. Don't worry if your specimen looks like it's tinted a little blue because we want that to happen. Most tissues of your specimen will initially take up this blue stain. The blue color that all of it picks up will be removed later on in steps as we go further into diaphanizing. You want to remember to make sure you have your specimens fully submerged in the Alcyon Blue solution. Any parts that are exposed above the solution will not be stained. Be super careful and not to overstain your specimen. Overstaining will prolong and complicate the clearing process that we have to go to in order to see the bones and cartilage. On a side note, you can use the Alcyon Blue solution that you just made today many, many times. But when the Alcyon starts to fall out of the solution, so when you start to see little buildups like towards the bottom of the, of the jar in the, in the solution, then you want to throw that out and replace it with some new Alcyon Blue solution. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching me going along with this process and you guys being able to be part of it. I hope that you were enjoying it as thus far. <laughs> Remember to thumb up and subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos in the process of diaphanizing in this series, Dying the Dead. Don't forget to check the links down in the description box and read the description as well. It'll give you a lot more information than what I was able to put in the video. Be on the lookout for the next installment of Rehydration. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye!